Hello. Here is a question to find equation of a tangent. It says, find the equation of the tangent line to the curve y equals to square root of 2x minus 1 that is parallel to the line x minus 3y equals to 16. Okay. Now, if it is parallel to this line, then the slope of the tangent should be, we can reorganize this into y equals to mx plus b form and then find the slope. So, if I take x to this side, it becomes minus x and then I divide by minus 1 over 3. So, I get plus 1 over 3 as my slope. So, the slope should be 1 over 3. And uh, what we can do is, from here, we can use, uh, from the first principle, we can find the slope of this line and equate that slope to 1 over 3 and find the point at which the slope will be 1 over 3, correct? So, that's the kind of strategy which we are going to use here. Okay, so let's first reorganize our equation and then find what the slope should be. So, I'm just writing this line as x, I'm taking y on that side and I'm writing, okay, okay, let me write minus 3y equals to minus of x, I'm taking x this side, plus 16, correct? In that case, y equals to minus x over minus 3 and then this will be plus 16 over minus 3, right? And this will give me 1 over 3x, correct? This becomes positive minus 16 over 3, correct? So, the slope is parallel to this line. That means the slope should be equals to 1 over 3, correct? So, that part is the slope, correct? Now, let's try to find the slope of this line in general using first principle, okay? Now, so we will say slope here means is equals to f of x plus h. We, we are going to use this f of x plus h minus f of x over x plus h minus h, right? So, this is difference quotient. So, basically, uh, we are getting f of x plus h minus f of x over h, correct? Now, this is what we will have. And here, we will say where h is very, very small. So, we can use the concept of limit and then say, well, h approaches 0, right? Then we'll say h approaches 0, okay? So, let me start off with this and we'll say, well, m equals to or the slope equals to limit of this function where h approaches 0. And what is f of x plus h? f of x plus h will be, I'll replace x with x plus h. So, I'll get square root of 2 times x plus h minus 1. So, this is my f of x plus h minus of f of x. So, f of x is exactly what it was, which is 2x minus 1. Is it okay? And then, this is divided by h, correct? So, that gives me the slope of this function, correct? Now, I can simplify it. And to simplify, what should I do? Since we have square roots here, it's a good idea to rationalize it, say. So, let's rationalize it and see what do we get. So, we have 2 times x plus h minus 1. And what is the conjugate of this? Conjugate is this becomes plus, right? Over h times. So, here on the square root, we have square root of 2 times x plus h plus square root of 2x, oh sorry, minus 1, right? over square root of 2 times x plus h plus square root of 2x minus 1. Okay? So, that's how we will rationalize it. So, when you multiply it, what do we get? We get limit h approaches 0 and here a square minus b square. So, a square is 2 times x plus h minus 1 and b square is minus of 2x minus 1. Correct? And in the denominator, we are left with h from here, right? And then from here, let me write them in brackets, square root of 2 times 
x plus h plus square root of 2x minus 1, correct? That's what we get. Okay. Now, this we can open up the numerator and simplify it. And so we get limit of h approaches 0. And in the numerator, what do we get? 2 times x minus 2 times x is 0. So that gets rid of. And 2h, we are left with 2h. So we'll get 2h here. And then we have minus 1 and minus of minus 1 is 0. So we are left with only 2h in the numerator. And in the denominator, we have h times all this, which is 2 times x plus h plus square root of 2x minus 1. Okay? Now, here we can cancel out the h, right? And then we can substitute h as 0, right? Approaching 0 and simplify it. So now we can cancel out and so we are left with 2 over uh, if I substitute 0, here is square root of 2x, right, and, uh, oh, so I forgot to write minus 1 all the places. There was minus 1 here. Oh, my God. So this is minus 1, which I forgot to write everywhere. Let me add that, add it now, okay? So this was here, minus 1, minus 1 here also. So I forgot to write, this was C, the function original is 2x minus 1, correct? When I rationalize, I have to write 2 times x plus h minus 1. So I forgot that minus 1. So I just added it up, right? So we left with 2 times, and then here in the denominator, we get 2 times x minus 1, and then plus, this is within square root, plus 2x minus 1, okay? This is what we get. And this is 2 times, is it? 2x minus 1, 2 times x minus 1. So it is also, we can write 2 times, 2 times 2x minus 1, which is equals to 1 over square root of 2x minus 1. So this is what you get here as your slope. Now, the thing is that this slope should be equal to 1 over 3, right? And that helps us to solve this equation, correct? So we will equate slope as 1 over 3, correct? So we say 1 over 3, let me do it in different ink now. So we get this general equation, now we slope is 1 over 3 equals to 1 over square root of 2x minus 1, correct? And from here, we can cross multiply and we say square root of 2x minus 1 is equals to 3, correct? And if I square both sides, I get 2x minus 1 equals to 9 and this implies we take 1 here and then divide by 2, we get x equals to 5. Do you see that? So we get x equals to 5. So at point where x equals to 5, the tangent to this curve has a slope of 1 over 3, which is same as this. Do you see that? So we get x point here. Correct? Now, so we know x equals to 5 and now we can find y. How will you find y? We will plug in here. So y equals to, when I put 5 here, then I get 2 times 5 is 10, and 10 minus 1 is 9, and square root of 9 is 3, so we get this point, right? So the point on this curve where the tangent is parallel to this line is actually 5 comma 3, right? And slope is 1 over 3. So what is the equation of this line? So let's write down the equation of tangent now. Now equation of the tangent is let's say y equals to mx plus b. So what is y? y is 3 for you, right? And slope is 1 over 3, and x value is 5. So let's say times 5 plus b, right? So we can simplify this to find b. So it is 3 minus 5 over 3 equals to b, right? So from here, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 minus 5 is 4. So b is 4 over 3. So that's the value of b. Therefore, the equation is y equals to m is 1 over 3, x and b is plus 4 over 3. So, that is your equation of the tangent, which will be parallel to this on this curve. Do you understand? You can always write this equation standard form, multiply by 3, and then bring them together to one side, and that way you can write down, right? 
equation in standard form also as required. I hope you understand the process which we followed here. First is, when we say find the equation of the tangent line to this curve that is parallel to this line, then first process find what is what should be the slope, right? So rearrange this and find the slope. And we say, well, the slope is this, correct? So this part, what we did was here, we found slope. So this is the required slope of line, right? So slope was m equals to 1 over 3. And then we have to find the point on the tangent where the slope will be this. So we use difference quotient method. Do you see that? And then found and rationalize it because it's square root. So for square root function, you need to rationalize it. And once you rationalize it and then simplify it, then you get some simplified expression, which turned out to be 1 over square root of 2x minus 1 for us. Equate this slope to the required slope of 1 over 3 and find the x value of the point. Once you find the x value of the point, plug in here and get y value. So we got the point as 5 comma 3, right? So we have a point which is 5 comma 3, right? And the slope was 1 over 3. We use that 5 comma 3 and the slope to find the equation of a tangent line. Okay, so there are many steps involved in it, but they are kind of straightforward. I hope you understand them. These are the steps to be followed. First, find the required slope. Second, find the general equation for your slope. Then equate the two, get the point on which you get the required slope. Once you have the point and the slope, you can always find the equation of the tangent line. Okay, I hope you understand it. Thank you.